to move on and talk about plant processes. And plants do actually have several processes that they perform in order to um, grow and develop and reproduce. So we're gonna talk about those processes. The first one we're gonna talk about is water flow. And in, with water flow, the plant is pulling the water up through the roots. And in order to do that, it has to have um, a pressure gradient. It has to have a pressure difference that will pull that water up through the plant. And you may have seen something like this before. Um, if you take a straw, say, say you take a straw from McDonald's and you put it in a cup of water. Well, the water is not going to go up the straw by itself because that straw is really round and and pretty wide so i don't know why but mcdonald's has really wide straws so you would just put it in there and you know you wouldn't really see anything happen it would just be like okay great i put a straw in water well if you take a coffee stirrer which is a very thin straw and you put it in water you'll see the water go up the straw okay and this is called capillary action so what the reason it's going up through there is because the narrowness of the tube is causing a pressure difference. And that pressure difference is pulling the water up through the straw. And this is basically what happens with plants. They do transpiration. So in the leaves, the um, stomata are open and this is causing a pressure difference. And so that is pulling the water up through the plant from the roots to the stems and into the leaves and it actually leaves the um, leaf so once that water gets to the stomata then it will leave and flow into the atmosphere and so this is one of the ways that plants evaporate water into the atmosphere now cohesion and adhesion are important concepts here because Cohesion means that water molecules like to stick together, and so that's part of why they're flowing up through there. And adhesion means that they like to stick to other surfaces. So they're actually sticking to that cell wall of the transport system, and that helps pull them up through the, um, the plant to the leaves. All right, another um, process that we're gonna talk about is phototropism. So plants will move towards the sunlight. Maybe you've seen this before. If you, if you have a plant that is sitting um, near a sunny window, it will start to grow towards that sunlight. And there's a compound in plants called auxin, and that is what causes the phototropism or the plant to move towards the light. So the auxin is actually um, building up on one side of the shoot and that causes that part to grow faster and so it's growing towards the light because of that. Thigmotropism is actually a plant's response to stimulus and so we'll see this in vines that wrap around things. Um, there's a stimulus there that when it touches something it causes it to move in that direction and so that causes it to wrap around what it's touching. We also see this in some plants, um, like you look at this one on the right hand side here, this particular plant, if you touch the leaves, they will fold in. And that's a thigmotropism, it's responding to that stimulus. We see this also with a Venus flytrap. So a Venus flytrap, if, um, if an organism lands within it, it will snap shut and that is basically a response to stimulus, which we call thigmotropism. And then there's gravitropism, and gravitropism really just means that stems grow upwards, so they, they tend to grow up, and roots grow downwards. And so this is really just the cells in plants have different signals that they're using. So root cells, are different than the cells that are in stems. And root cells, they are their signals are telling them to grow down into the earth. And then the stems, because they have different cells and different signals within those cells, the stems grow upwards towards the light. 
And then photoperiodism is that plants respond to seasonal changes. And if you, um, as you try to remember this vocabulary, if you just kind of pick out the period in this, then you can say, okay, the periods of the plants would be spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And so photoperiodism just means that the plant is going to respond to seasonal changes.